Okay, guys, let's review the pH formula and just do a couple of quick pH problems so we can make sure we've got all those skills that we need. You guys might remember the pH formula. pH is defined as the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. So the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration for a strong acid. Well, what do we know about strong acids? We just we're talking about this. Large Ka value. You know, the Ka value is large. What do we know about the degree of dissociation? High. It's very high. It's Low. just about 100%, <coughs> right? And therefore, we can say for a strong acid that the H3O plus concentration is basically the same as the acid concentration. They're the same value. This won't be true for weak acids. For weak acids, we have to do ice problems. We will work on that tomorrow. That's a separate issue. So, but if it's a strong acid, and you guys know all your strong acids, right? No. What are the common strong acids? HCl, HCl HI, HBr, not HF. HCLO4, HCLO3. H2SO4, only for the first hydrogen. Um, are we missing any? I think there's one more. Oh, HNO3. Nitric acid. Right, those are our strong acids. How about HSCLO3? HCLO4? Oh, right. Yep. So you guys should be able, if you've got the hydronium ion concentration, you can calculate the pH with this formula. We want to make sure you know this. Everyone okay? Can I go on? All right. Now, if you've got the, the pH and you need to get to the hydronium ion concentration, you have to take the inverse, right? The inverse of the log is the exponential function. So if you've got the pH, you're given the pH, 10 to the negative pH, We'll give you the hydronium ion concentration. For those of you with Grafton calculators, you'll type this into your calculator as the second log of the negative pH. So that's how you find the hydronium ion concentration. So I just want to make sure everyone's up to speed with how to do these calculations because for most of us, it's been a while since we've worked with this. So let's do two quick problems. All right. The hydronium ion of a solution is 3.4 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. What is the pH? First of all, what's the equation we need to use? <coughs> pH equals the one we just learned. The negative log of H3O. 5.5 per. Alright, so it equals negative log 3.4 times 10 to the minus 6. All right, pHs, by the way, are recorded without units. Okay. And the other thing I wanted to point out, how many sig figs are given to us in our concentration? Two sig figs. Now, when we change this into pH, numbers before the decimal are not considered to be significant. The significant digits are the ones after the decimal in the pH. Okay. All right, so... Four seven. Say that again? Four seven. 5.47? All right. Because the 5 is not considered to be significant. The, the significant figures are the ones after the decimal place. All right. So that's how you, you should be reporting it with pH. Everyone okay? Let's do one more problem. We're going in the other side. The pH of a solution is measured to be 8.6. What is the hydronium ion concentration? 2.5. Say that again? Uh, 2.5 and 1 times 6 mega. So I'll put it all in. Into the negative 5 and 6. Now, how many 6 figs should we have? Yeah, 1.84. <coughs> Two six figs. Two six figs. Well, really, there's only one. 
Kev's fight, which were really only six is significant here. There's really only one sig fig. So if we if you want to write it as two point five times ten to the minus ninth molar, that's okay. So I just wanted to refresh your memory right. on how to do those problems. Because we're going to have to be able to do this with equilibrium problems for weak acids and bases. And that's what I wanted to do.